Okay, here we are. I'm Ginger Bowler and um, many or most of the ones of you all that have signed up for the live webinar or to watch it as a recording. I know you for many years. So for a lot of you all, this is going to be a review and hopefully a good review for you. Uh, there are others that this may be the first time you're he even hearing about Hannah Kroger's work and somebody sent you to this webinar. So I will just encourage you to make some notes and to just hang in there with me because I have a lot to go through. But since it's a recorded webinar, you can always go back, pause, pause this and take some notes. Um, Hannah Kroger was uh, a great uh, herbalist, a master teacher, a uh, master herbalist, a, a homeopathic physician, a naturopathic physician. She was an author, a lecturer, many, many things. And she died at, um, in 1998 with a smile on her face, peacefully in her bed. She had told us that she wasn't going to stick around after her husband passed away. And she, she, she was good to her word. 13 months later, she just left this earth plane. So we, but she left behind a legacy and it continue, it, it's 20 years since her passing or 21 years and uh, her work is still as vital today as it ever was. So I've been teaching her work now for 31 or 32 years and having met her in 1987, I know I don't look that old, but <laughs> that's, I'm talking to myself. Um, been around a long time of this work and so I get, you know, I'm so much into teaching and presenting and doing light therapy and the other things I do in my career, but I always use Hannah's work as my foundation. And so I always go back to what would Hannah say? What would Hannah say? And these are the products that my family, my children were raised on and that we use in our lives and uh, that I constantly teach no matter what I'm teaching in the field of energy medicine or natural healing. I'm always teaching Hannah's, Hannah's work. So included in her favorites in the top 25, well, you know why top 25? I just randomly picked that number and I picked that number because she has over 350 products in her line. Many, many of them are the homeopathics or the vibrational uh, remedies. So, um, I wrote, you know, her company breaks it down. I've broken it down for you, but 25 is all we'll be able to get through in a, in a one hour webinar. Included in the favorites, we're going to be starting with her herbal combinations. I'm starting with the herbal combinations because the kits, as you can see, four down on this list, Hannah's kits, most of those are including the herbal combinations. So we'll have already gone through most of the herbal combinations once we get to the prepackaged kits, and that way it'll make more sense to you. She also has teas, and it's teas that are medicinal teas, not just, you know, because we like to drink tea. Again, the vibropathics, or what most people would refer to as homeopathics, the difference is they're not constitutional homeopathics, but rather uh, they are formulated from the vibrational equal of the no sode or the diseased tissue that a homeopathic would be have been diluted from and made from and with Hannah's vibropathics we yet never she they never started with that diseased tissue to start with okay but they seem to work equally as well and you don't have to worry about taking too much because it's not going to hurt you then Hannah's gadgets that's her little energy tools she was well known for her gadgets. And uh, so she had a bunch of them, but I'm only going to show you a couple today. And then her books, Hannah is the author of 21 books, but I'm only going to be um, highlighting a few of them. Okay, so who was this webinar created for? I put an, uh, a five year old picture, a picture of my little one at about five years old. And, you know, this was created for all of you all, licensed and unlicensed healthcare professionals, complementary and alternative healthcare providers, holistic health practitioners, naturopaths, nutritionists, anyone who loves Hannah's philosophies. And bottom line is anybody who loves someone, like this little precious cutie here on the screen. 
I do have to do a disclaimer since these are dietary supplements. I am going to run through this really, really quickly. A lot of people listen to the webinar just listening to the audio portion of it. So I do have to read them since they may not be reading the screen. The screen. So if you're going to continue with this webinar, here's what you're agreeing to. You're, I understand that the class I am attending, Ginger's Top 25 of Hannah Kroger's products, is for educational and or research purposes only. I understand that I am attending a webinar on Hannah Kroger's philosophy. Regardless of the language or the words the instructor uses to describe how she has used or has known others to use these dietary supplements or natural remedies mentioned, or how I might interpret what, she, what the instructor said, I understand that the reference being made is only to Hannah's philosophy of her product line and other natural methods. Even if the instructor discusses a disease or condition, I understand that if she's only referring to Hannah Kroger or one of her students' opinion or philosophy associated with that disease or condition. I understand specifically that I am not being taught to work on diseases or conditions. I understand that disease care is the business of licensed medical professionals. I understand that it is my responsibility to know what I can legally do within the scope of my practice. Each state and province has its laws and rules regarding natural remedies and dietary supplements. I understand that it is my personal responsibility to make sure that I am using the information within the scope of my practice as outlined by the governing board or other governing agency in in your area. The statements used in this class have not been evaluated by the US FDA or Health Canada or any other country's regulatory health agencies. The information presented in this class is not medical, dental, or chiropractic advice and is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease or substitute for the advice of a physician or other licensed health care providers. No claims as to the effectiveness of a therapy, supplement, or a protocol are expressed or implied. The material presented does not necessarily represent the opinions or beliefs of Ginger Bowler Energy Events, at Ginger Bowler Inc., or any of its owners, employees, or agents. This is for research and educational purposes only. Now, the cool part about that, folks, is that we can throw away the whole disease care model, and we're working with, and Hannah's products are working with, uh, wellness care, health, vitality, you know, that's what we're to focus on. We can leave disease care to the medically licensed professionals. You know, uh, I, I, like to, I like to say that, you know, if, when, when Jesus comes back around, uh, you know, is he gonna have a medical license when he's healed, curing up people? But anyway, that's my little joke and let's just keep going. So I am presenting this webinar class on uh, my own behalf uh, and the behalf of my company and I've not been paid by any other company to present this, these uh, products, okay? I'm passionate about Hannah Kroger's work and I wanna make it more readily available to anyone who will listen. I have great love and respect and appreciation for the immense body of, of, of work Hannah Kroger left to the world and I wanna honor her with this webinar. I've been talking to her all morning, um, you know, this way. I also do not want it, you know, the music to die, you know, to die with the music still in me is a, is a statement that uh, I think somebody once wrote a song about that, but I, I certainly don't want to die with the music within me. And Hannah's work for me is the music still in me. Before I pass from this world, I want to pass along as much as I know about her work. This was a promise that I made to Hannah personally, and here I am, I'm keeping my promise. While I was in graduate school, I did my research, my doctoral research and dissertation on Hannah Kroger's work. And it's available in my book, Hannah Kroger, Natural Healer. A lot of you all have that. It is out of print currently. We are uh, attempting to get it back in print, but right now you could go to holosuniversity.org. It says .com on the screen. I, I apologize, that's my error. It should say holos, H-O-L-O-S, university.org. And look, in 2003, you'd be able to look up under my last name, Bowler, V-O-W-L-E-R, first name Ginger, and you would be able to uh, download it. And it's got about 150 
uh, pictures in it with some of the body alignment, etc. So this is not a sales seminar. Um, you know, we don't mind if we sell stuff, but with the purpose of it is to pass along Hannah's work. And so I would encourage you because a lot of you all are health food store owners that are watching this or sending your customers to us or your health practitioners. And so I'm going to tell the listening audience that go back to that health food store, that health practitioner and get your products from them or whoever you get your products from. If it's us, great. If it's them, you know, continue to do that. Oh, so here's my little cutie, Hannah. This was one of the last seminars. This was one in Madison, Wisconsin. It was either second to last or last, I believe it was the second to last one of her lifetime. And uh, so there she is. I'm sorry that I, I'm doing my, my clicker too fast. Here's my gorgeous daughter. I, I used her picture because it goes so well with Hannah's favorite quote. And that is, the body is the most brilliant computer ever designed. There will never be a computer smarter than the human body. Given the proper information or encouragement, the body heals itself. So what are we doing in the natural healing arts is we're stimulating the body's ability to heal itself, not putting a Band-Aid on anything. As an overview of her work, and I've done a whole other webinar just on all of this stuff, I'm only putting this on the screen very quickly to review that Hannah's work took the 2,700 diseases known to modern medicine, put it into seven physical and seven spiritual causes of illness. And so for today's, today's topic, as we're going through the different supplements, you could come back to the list on the left side, the physical causes, and find out, find out oh, we were talking about remedies and that applies to that category. So for the listening only audience, I'll read the physical causes of illness according to Hannah. Number one, neglect. Number two, trauma. Number three, congestion. Number four, chemical and metal or environmental toxins. Number five, worms and parasites. Number six, infections, which are bacteria, viruses, funguses. And number seven, miasms. Miasms are those carried over diseases from our ancestors. And then there are the seven spiritual causes. Again, you know, we should do a whole another seminar on that, but they are number one, neglect, number two, trauma, spiritual trauma, number three, congestion. We can become spiritually congested. Number four, karma. That means what we put out in the world is coming back to us. When we're bound at the level of our own judgment, so we have to be really careful when we're judging others. Number five, entities and dark forces. A lot of people don't believe in spooks. And entities and dark forces, that's fine. You can call them non-beneficial energies, uh, whatever. Uh, focus on the light, that's perfectly great. But some of us need to know how to clear energies and need to know that if someone's greatly possessed uh, by some dark energies, you can't really help them to get them clear from that. So it's good to know how to do these things. And there's a ton of ways, I've said it in one of the last webinars, the backdrop here is our light therapy banners, just because this is the banners we have. A lot of times I'll just put light therapy on someone and start to, and see them clearing. So there are many different ways, but that's not the topic of this webinar. Um, number six in the spiritual causes is emotions. Emotions being out of balance that really jerk us all over the place. We need to learn to get our emotions in balance. And number seven, the lack of faith. So uh, that's just the basic overview of Hannah's, I'm sorry that I keep clicking too fast, of Hannah's work. I threw this picture in here because this is, this is one of the last webinars ever, but here Hannah's using the little uh, dowsing device and touching the, the client there with her, I mean the student in the, in the audience, touching her at the heart or lung area, I'm not really sure, somebody's head's in the way. But um, she's showing that she's measuring the energy and she's using the, the pendulum. And, and so she's measuring the energy and if there's a lack of energy in that particular organ or system of the body, then we would want to give the body the information it needs, needs to heal itself, which we're going to get into what some of those options are. So as a review, that we always want to support the routes of detoxification. I think I went into this in, 
in, in depth uh, pretty, pretty well in some of the other webinars. Definitely the Hold of Clark Four Cleanses. Please review it there. But number one, we always start with the kidneys. Make sure those kidneys are supported. The kidneys have the adrenals right sitting on top of them. And so those are the battery of the body and the kidneys, the major organ of detoxification. So we really want to make sure we support the kidneys. Again, review the Hulda Clark Four Cleanse webinar for more information on that. Then number two is the liver, number three, lungs, number four, lymph, number five, large intestine. And then I always put a little line there because I want to remind us that if we start to have skin breakouts, that we got to go back to the kidneys and support the kidneys. The skin being the largest organ of detoxification, we don't want the body to have to choose that route to detoxify, but we'd rather things come out in the skin than not to come out of the body at all as the body's detoxifying. However, if you're seeing breakout in the skin, almost always that's an indication that you really need to do some more work to support the kidneys. All right, so I'm starting this webinar with um, the herbal combinations. Now, it, it's a challenge for me to have reduced it down to the number that I've done, but these really are my top go-tos every time. Not in order, these are in alphabetical order, okay? However, having said that, black radish and parsley is one of my number one all-time favorites. When we have two kidneys, a left kidney and a right kidney, according to Hannah Kroger, the left kidney filters has to take care of the bacterial load in the body, whereas the right kidney would take care of the, the heavy metal load in the body. Because the body's got to deal with the, to with the load, the toxicity coming in, and then it either is able to throw it off or shuttle it to some other organ that maybe can deal with it. So with black radish and parsley, um, we're looking at left kidney issues or general bacterial issues. Um, bacterial uh, infections seem to um, have a more of a sharp stabbing pain that, rather than a viral infection that's more of a dull, achy pain. Okay, so that's one of the ways you may know that it's bacterial rather than, rather than viral. Oops, I dropped my, my mouse here. <clears throat> But again, if it's left kidney and the, your client's coming in and, and they're holding their left side of their back, uh, according to Dr. Holder Clark, almost all lower back uh, issues are kidney issues. So black radish and parsley, again, you can see the ingredients. I'm not gonna read them out and you can go Google all these different ingredients if you're not familiar with them. Now, having said that, Hannah, as a master European herbalist, worked with the secondary and tertiary properties of the herbs in combination, not just the primary properties. And that's why her products are so well balanced and we don't usually have some sort of Herxheimer effect or healing crisis with them because how well they're blended. I think I'm remembering this right. It seems to me she always blended, this one has seven different ingredients. I think it's always an odd number if I'm right. I'll have to go look, it's, I'm spacing it right now. Um, oh, I had gone, that's black radish and parsley. So yes, yeah, so black radish, no, this one just has two. Sorry, I had gone to the next screen. Um, on the screens with herbal combinations, you'll also see that there are other things you might try uh, or use in combination with um, the different products. So there's black radish and parsley. For example, it's saying, you know, if it's a bacterial infection, you might want to try the vitamins A, B, C, E, bioflavonoids, the product Influ, et cetera, okay? There's many good remedies for bacterial inf infections or conditions, but for us, I, that's one of my all-time favorites. Having gone on to blood toner, blood toner is um, uh, often used with either fung the FNG care, which used to be called fungus, to indicate fungus, okay? And that was the basis of Hannah's cancer protocol. If someone had a cancer that was fungus-based, now we have 
virus-based cancers and we have fungus-based cancers. One thing that both Hannah and Hilda Clark taught us was that regardless of if it's viral or if it's fungal, there's always worms and parasites when we're all the way to a cancer condition. So, but it is mo uh, any of these herbal combinations can just be used. A lot of you all are nutritionists or you're herbalists and you, you know that these ingredients like, wow, okay, there we go. I could use this for something completely different than what the label says or what Hannah intended it. So, well, of course you would do that, but you can see the different items here in blood tone, a yellow dot, cramp bark, yarrow, milkweed plantain, tansy, tobacco, and um, all of the herbal combinations are in a, veg a vegetarian source capsule too, by the way. Oh, I've got a, I'm not I'm going too fast, sorry. So here's the next one, Candida Liver Care. This one's kind of a funny in that Hannah used to call it Stay Sober. And before that, it was called ant herbal anti poos <laughs> So as the, the various names would indicate, it is for addictions and or often used, I'd say, for addictions. Why? What's the, the theory there? Well, Hannah said that when candida, which is a fungus overgrowth, when it's encased in the liver, that creates cravings or addictions. So it could be an addiction for chocolate, for uh, alcohol, um, gambling. It could be any number of, of addictions, but there's this overgrowth and the body's trying to deal with it by acting on its addiction. So Hannah, one of the many, many things that we loved about Hannah's work or love about Hannah's work is that she was, um, let's say it's the person was drinking uh, and a lot. And so that was the addiction. She wasn't one to say, now stop drinking. Well, of course the person knows that they should not be drinking, okay? But she said, she took a different route or the smoker, like she never said, stop smoking. She would say to us, make the body feel better. And then the person will not, and raise the vibration of the body and even taking these high vibrational remedies or many other things that we can do to raise the energy of the body. But when you raise the energy of the body, the desire for the lower vibrational behaviors just will go away. Nobody who smokes needs to be told not to smoke. Nobody who's an over drinker needs to be told that drinking is bad for them. Okay, they know it. But Hannah said what's happening, and happening is when the alcoholic is drinking, they're actually, the alcohol for a few minutes is almost acting like a remedy because it's putting that fire out, that craving, that candida overgrowth that, you know, in the liver, sort of tampering that down for a moment. For a moment it works. Of course, then they're getting drunk. And then that just makes the candida worse. So feeding candida with sugar and, and alcohol sugar and other types of sugars, um, it simply makes it worse. So she, what she would say is just put, just get them to start with candida liver care and you, speak, you know, stay sober and, um, and then watch and then support their adrenals. We use anti-fatigue for that, support the adrenals, do other things like that. And then they're able to make better choices. Um, a lot of people are very familiar with candida and, um, and different remedies for candida, which we're going to get into. Um, but uh, the next one of the kits is a big candida kit. And it's, it, it's pretty comprehensive. A lot of times the person, they're not ready to commit that far. And so you want to start somewhere. And this is just a wonderful place to start with the candida liver care. All right, Chemex. Chemex is a uh, general chemical. Now, the name sort of connotes what she was trying to accomplish with this. So, whereas the left kidney is responsible for handling the bacterial load and the right kidney 
for the heavy metal load and the environmental toxins, some of them. Uh, the liver is responsible for the chemical overload in the body. So that's why chem X, coarse chemicals can affect any part of the body. Um, but this is just a general chemical detoxer that we've used for years and you know, it's fabulous. Okay, here's the number one product of all time in Hannah's line. This one's called CircuFlow. So CircuFlow is a heart and arterial cleanser and um, it is a month's supply. So it's the thing that was the easiest for me to get my mother to take because she could tell such a difference when she was on it as when she was not. Now with Hannah's remedies, Hannah always wanted us to accomplish whatever we were trying to accomplish with her remedy in one to two bottles. She said, if you had to do three and four or five of the same thing, that somehow you missed something and that that was too much, too long. You don't want to make the body dependent on taking the remedies. Okay, we want the body, to, we want to go in and support the body and then the, let the body take over and do its own work. So, but circuit flow seems to be one of the uh, exceptions to the rule. And I think from these 30 years, what I can determine and what Hannah also said is that our elderly population often gets emotionally attached to their circuit flow and they feel like they need to stay on it more than just one or two bottles. If that's the case, it certainly isn't going to hurt them, but we do want to support our people to take breaks in between some of their cleansing programs. Now you might do two or three months in a row of cleansing and that may be great for you, but or you know different uh, programs you might finish the circuit flow and then start something else and start some, and that's fine but do take some breaks you let the body say yeah look look at me i, I did my work you know I'm, I'm good and uh you know permission to take a break is what i'm saying right there oh i want to go back on the circuit flow it's taken with aloe vera gel also the best for optimal benefit, take it with the aloe vera gel. For those of you all familiar with the Kroger line, it's the bigger bottle of gel. But your health food store will also have uh, aloe vera gel. If you don't want to take the gel or don't have the gel, it's fine. Take the product anyway. Um, I don't know how to go back on my PowerPoint to put circuit flow back up there right now because I'm working with a little mouse. Juice. Go up. Okay, wait, let me go back. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, it has 270 capsules in this one. So this is the biggest, the bigger bottle of this. Um, the other thing that I wanted to say about this is that if you're just looking at those ingredients, a lot of you all are very familiar with uh, herbal combinations and some of that's vitamins and amino acids, etc. But this also helps the bowels move a lot. And um, so a lot of people say, well, I think I should be working on my bowels first. When you're taking circuit flow, trust me, you're working on your bowels. So a lot of people, that's a really good thing um, to, know, to know that up front. Okay, <clears throat> female balance. Female balance is uh, for hormonal balance and for a female, obviously. And um, more specifically targeted to the ovaries, not the uterus. Women's gold, which we'll get to, is for more specific to the uterus. So if a woman has um, uh, ovarian issues or hormonal issues, acne or any of these things, this is, this is such a good formula with black cohosh, anise seed, yellow dock, and ginger root um, to help to balance the hormonal system. And I, we've had so many people throughout, so many women throughout uh, my career who have just said that, you know, they don't take any hormonal supplementation, pharmaceuticals or whatever, that this is, this is what they rely on. Okay, the next one is FNG Care. 
Um, that is, it was originally, I mentioned this a little earlier, called fungus. And so whenever we have a general fungus issue that may, may or may not be candida, uh, or candida overgrowth, candida is just a fungus that occurs naturally in the body. It has a job to do for the liver, but it's when it gets into an overgrowth state that we have an issue with it. And so, but, so, but we have other funguses that are not candida based, I mean, that are not candida fungus. And so this is when you would wanna uh, reach for this uh, fungus. Almost always when I'm working with someone, I would always put it with either blood toner for the clearing the fungus in the blood, with the lung care um, for fungus in the lungs, which a lot of the chronic coughs or chronic conditions in the lungs have a fungus. The reason the person can't throw it off is because of a fungus in the lungs. So it's very common for me, especially if it was lung cancer, emphysema, or any of these um, uh, respiratory distress syndrome, whatever, I'm always reaching for checking out, you know, if this wouldn't be the, the best route to take for um, putting lung care the, with the FNG care. Now, when I say I'm checking out, you all listen to this webinar. You have many ways. Some of you all that are listening would listen to the recording gonna be physicians, you can run blood tests, or nurse practitioners, or, or nutritionists, or, or whatever. So you have different ways that you can determine what's going on in the body. For a lot of us that are biofeedback practitioners, we get information on our, on our screen that can indicate we sh this might be um, useful. There are other dowsers or body talkers or kinesiologists or different ways to know and that's what I'm talking about when I say, I'm saying check it out. The other thing when we're working with the fungus condition and we'll get to this when we're in the biopropathic uh, area because I've only picked out three out of 150 biopropathics, but one of my top ones is the uh, crypto fungus of a vibrational remedy and we're gonna we'll talk more about that when we get there but it is for when we have a often found when we're having a fungus on the brain and uh, affecting short-term memory next product now this is in my career of sell, selling Hannah Kroger's products and working with people this is one of the number one products but it's the number one product that people would buy when I used to have a retail uh, location set up, that they would buy without knowing any other Hannah products or anything about Hannah's work, because they could take this product, take two bottles of cholester, having had their cholesterol taken, uh, readings taken pre taking the product, and then they could go back to the doctor have their cholesterol taken, uh, reading taken after that, and see that this had, had, had brought their numbers into the normal range. I heard this over and over and over and over again, that I would get to tell that those customers coming in, hey, would you like to know about any of the other Hannah products? No, they didn't want to know, they didn't need to know, they just, they just wanted their cholesterol uh, balance. So uh, Anyway, we could get into a whole conversation about cholesterol level, but we're not going to do that. Just know that that's the product. Okay. I already talked about lung formula a little bit. It was formerly called Sound Breath. Um, one of the most dramatic stories of uh, having used the Sound Breath or lung formula and the, fu the fungus or the FNG care and um, some of the other items like, you know, lung flukes, et cetera, uh, vibropathic was, is in my book, Listening and Communicating with Energy. And it's a story of Casey and Judy Nyland from Canada, where he had come to live the last day. He would, they, were, they were snowbirds that came to Florida when we had our company in Florida. And they had come so that Casey could live the last year of his life. Um, he had stage four lung cancer and emphysema. And so, and they were Calvinists, so they were really not interested in hearing any of our Jesus story. I mean, they, they were all for Jesus, you know. I mean, any of the dowsing stuff and some of the stuff that, you know, that was too freaky for them. They weren't interested in any of that. And as a matter of fact, uh, Casey wasn't interested in anything that we had to offer. 
um, he sat out in the car while his wife, Judy, would come into the classes as a registered nurse. She was very interested in natural healing, but they had pretty much given up hope that he would ever be healed. He had already taught, he had already said goodbye to his children, and they just came for him to die in the warmth of the Florida sun. So, uh, long story short, he ends up having this attack outside of our building, a uh, coughing attack, and he comes into the to this uh, office, and we gave him some peppermint oil, so a little peppermint oil on the back of his hand, you lick it like that, and it opens the bronchi, because he didn't have his nebulizer, inhaler, or anything with him, it just, you know, he was in the parking lot. And so we gave him a little peppermint oil, and it immediately, he was able to breathe. Remember that if you have an asthmatic person in your, in your household, uh, to keep peppermint oil around, or someone with breathing issues, or if you're having a breathing issue and you put a little drop in, in water, you could sip it that way. Well, the other thing that Hannah told us to always have around for someone uh, with serious lung conditions was the cranberry juice concentrate so that you would take a tablespoon of the cranberry juice concentrate and put it right in the mouth. And that also helps with, you know, with the bronchi. We did both of those things. And then the next week or two later, they drove down to New Orleans where we was, uh, Louisiana, where we were sponsoring Hannah for a seminar. And Hannah being from Boulder, Colorado, where, you know, we're talking to you from, from Colorado right now. Um, but uh, I was born and raised in New Orleans. So we had our business down there. And that drive was only about a five hour drive for the Nylons, but he, they went there to, to meet Hannah directly after he was now convinced that maybe we knew something and we could help them. And uh, long story short, he decided he was gonna go ahead and probably die right there in the seminar. And Hannah, before the seminar started, she was in this crowd of people recognizing he was about to die, ends up bringing him up on stage, telling the audience that we could not wait we couldn't do this the short way with Casey. He didn't have enough time that we were gonna have to heal him right now, okay? So um, she had me put my hands on him uh, over the heart here and on the back and she put her hands over mine and we gave the command um, that uh, many of you all have learned in, in classes and it's in the seven spiritual causes and right then and there, his body peeled. His wife, it's like peeled. The energy just peeled off his body. And he went from this ash and gray, just in a moment, you know, the matter of two minutes, he went from this ash and gray to uh, a beautiful golden color, which he stayed for the rest of his 19 or so years of life. He did go on to, not only was he healed, but he, um, he went on to do, to do the work with Judy. But because he had been in such a weakened condition, Hannah did still have him continue with the remedies that we had started him with when he was in Florida with us, which was the sound breath or lung formula here, the F and G pair, the lung flukes, high dose vitamin A, and some of these other products that help to peel the body. We'll get into some more of that philosophy a little bit later. Um, I do want to toot the horn of uh, good quality vitamin A in high dosage um, for three days. And she, you know, she used 100,000 uh, units twice a day, which is over the recommended amount, um, but just three days. And in severe cases, maybe a week. Um, to help to repair the mucous membrane. So that's a really nice combination with lung formula. Okay, men's special. I've had some of you uh, health food store owners tell me funny stories about uh, this combination saying that you had male customers who say, don't, run, don't ever run out of that product um, because of the, makes everything work better for the guys. Let's just say that. But it is also the, nice hormonal balancer, which is, all, which is also the reason it makes everything work better. Now, having said that, a lot of men have that same sort of a result 
from circuflo because if a male is impotent, uh, often that is because that's the body protecting itself that the gentleman should not be having uh, a lot of excitement. And because their arterial system and heart cannot take it because it's too congested. So we want to clear it out. So that's why a lot of times that functioning comes back when they're taking circuit flow. But sometimes it's more of a hormonal imbalance or uh, imbalance. And so uh, men special. And also, you know, male, males can be grumpy and hormonal too. And if you have a grumpy hormonal male, well, you might want to, you know, try some men special really feeds the prostate gland as well. Okay, metal X, I've talked about this quite a bit already, just in mentioning in the different uh, webinars, I think most of us are very concerned with and aware that our, we are exposed to many, many heavy metals environmentally. We do not want to become afraid of our environment, so we're not going to become afraid of it. We just want to give the body the, the information it needs to heal itself and metal X, certainly if it's a right kidney issue or someone's uh, had a lot of mercury in their mouth or detox from it or exposed to some heavy metal and you know that, you can take um, metal X. Okay, the mover. It's one of my favorite. I travel with the mover because it's a natural oxygen. And my body gets a little upset sometimes when I move, you get different water, etc. And so it's very gentle, it's non-cramping, and it works very fast. So we just keep it around the house or take it on a trip with us. There's a couple of things that my family, we take on trips with us, this being one of them, and the Salmonella vibropathic, which I'll talk about in a little bit, is just one I travel with. Rascal. Rascal, uh, talked about this one in the Holder Clark Four Cleanses. It's been a big top seller for many, many years, uh, probably more than 20 years now, but uh, definitely for at least that long. And it's for tapeworm. And there are many types of tapeworm. The tapeworms tend to be the larger, larger worms. And yes, human beings do get parasites and we can cry and be upset about it or deny it, or just take, you know, once, twice a year, just take the remedies, clear out our system, or if we've developed a disease or condition, then, you know, and we're in a major cleanse and we know that we do need to do parasite cleansing. And so even if you're doing the wormwood kit or just wormwood combination by itself, a lot of times putting the wormwood combination, the rascal together, two bottles each, you've got a winning formula, even just with those two, those two products there. But again, this is for the tapeworm family. Now, I, I probably, I may forget to say it, so I want to say it now. If it's a child, we'd use the product Felix, F-I-L-I-X, and that's a little vibrational remedy. So it's liquid. They can swallow it easily, even a little bitty child, okay? And it's not going to hurt them because it's a vibrational equal, not, <clears throat> not a constitutional um, homeopathy, which are good. But, you know, then you go to a constitutional home homeopathy, uh, a homeopathic person for that kind of homeopathy. Thyroid care was called metabolizer. Originally, Hannah came up with this formula to detoxify, help us to detoxify from sodium fluoride. Now, sodium fluoride, as everybody, I think, on this, at least on the web, live webinar, but I don't know, watching YouTube, if you're familiar with this, but sodium fluoride is in every commercial brand toothpaste on the market. And uh, sodium fluoride is a, uh, a heavy metal. It's, a, it's toxic. It is um, uh, made from, from the aluminum industry. It's, a bi it's an actual waste product from aluminum. And aluminum is a dead metal. It robs a cell of oxygen. So aluminum tends to collect in the brain and we see a lot of aluminum overload in the uh, brains of Alzheimer's and dementia uh, patients. So <clears throat> we don't want the body to have to shuttle the aluminum off to the brain. We don't want the body to have to deal with sodium fluoride. Um, there's many documented cases of uh, fluoride being added to the water in the uh, prison populations to control the prisoners because 
it affects the thyroid, which is the, the, the uh, energy center of our will. And it makes the prisoners more easier to control. This is not woo-woo stuff. This is in the literature. Go watch it. Go find it. You will see this is well documented. So this is the reason why a lot of the communities around the United States and in other countries that had thought it might be a good idea to put sodium fluoride in the drinking water for the health of the teeth are now taking the sodium fluoride out of the water for the reason of all the other problems that it causes. Um, because, you know, if we're brushing our teeth every day with sodium fluoride and here you, you have the thyroid, parathyroid, you know, your thymus gland and all that, all of this beginning to be shut down. And then also, you know, going into the kidneys, it's probably not a good trade-off to have sodium fluoride um, when natural calcium fluoride, it will protect the teeth and not kill the body, but rather help the body. So a lot of the companies are going back to calcium fluoride, which is more expensive to put in there. And then the aluminum industry has to find out where to dump all that crap of the sodium fluoride, which the way the whole thing started was there was a barge of sodium fluoride floating around in the ocean because none of the countries would take it, would take the toxicity um, once it was realized. And so uh, they, the, and this is well documented, um, they decided, they found that they could sell it to the toothpaste industry and as a replacement for the calcium fluoride. So that's how all that mess started, but we're unmessing it now. Okay. And even if uh, it's a thyroid uh, issue or a low thyroid, take, you can take metabolizer to help the, uh, regulate the meta metabolism, to balance and support the metabolism. Women's gold is specific to the uh, uterus. So the, ur the uterus for a woman is, that's our power center. Whereas a male, you know, same in the sexual organs, prostate gland, that's a power center. And that, you know, so in a female, it's the uterus. That's a good argument for not having your uterus removed. Um, however, sometimes it's unavoidable. And so if you've had a hysterectomy, you can still support the system of what the uterus was supposed to be doing in balancing the power center and the hormones of the body in helping with all of that. And by taking a little bit of women's gold, you probably wouldn't need the full dosage, but you could take that. But certainly for a woman trying to get pregnant or, um, you know, uh, having any kind of uterus type issues, you know, I would so be looking towards women's gold. Okay, so those were the herbal combinations I picked out. Now we're moving towards the teas. I picked out the top four of the teas. Uh, Blue Malva tea is now called BLM, and Blue Malva is a star herb. It has one job to do, and that is for the ducks, ducks, not quack quack ducks, but the ducts of the body, but and the valves of the body. So sp very specifically, the heart valves. Now, in my 32-year career in Hannah's work, um, I have heard many, many stories of people drinking the blue malva tea for, you're supposed to drink it for five weeks, okay, like uh, a couple of cups a day for five weeks to uh, repair heart valve issues. How do we know we have a heart valve issue? Well, you went to the doctor, you got diagnosed, or a lot of times it's a crease, a lengthwise crease in the nose here will be an indication of a weakness in the heart valve. I have a slight one here. And um, so to take blue malva tea, and uh, you know all these stories that have come back to me that I've heard where the person then went for their operation, they didn't need it anymore. So now they're not gonna have a pig valve or something put into their heart. They just have their own heart valve and it was cleansed. Now that years ago was a $100,000 operation. I don't know if they even do it anymore that way, but not only is it expensive, but you know, a pig valve or, or something artificial being put in there where you could just simply help to repair the valve. It's worth a try, don't you think? Okay, 
FMLT is another one of these that I think saved so many people's lives and a lot of babies are on this planet because of this particular tea right here. Um, the FML was formerly called female tea. If the, um, so this is specific to the ovaries and uh, if you take a quart a day, now that's just the size of a mayonnaise, big mayonnaise jar, it's not a big deal. Make up, drink it at room temperature, a quart a day for three weeks prior to the menstrual cycle, to the period. If you have cysts in your ovaries, when you have the period, the cysts should uh, flush out of the ovaries. Just come out naturally, it doesn't hurt. A lot of the cramping is because cysts in the ovaries, but a lot of times people, women know they have cysts because the doctor said, you have cysts in your ovaries, you're never gonna have a baby, blah, blah, blah. Okay, the body's brilliant. Don't buy all that, it's nasty, don't buy that. Um, the, the body can heal itself. So a quart a day for three weeks and the cyst should come out. And again, tons of story. Um, this is a kidney tea. If a person needs kidney support but loves tea instead of doing some, some of the other supplements, this is one of the ones that people start from the beginning of their cleansing and it's, it's a lovely little tea. The lymph tea, uh, again, I'll put this up here just because people like, well, no matter what the condition is affecting the lymphatic body or if they've had breast cancer or something like that, this has just helped to cleanse the, the lymph system. So um, if any support is needed for the lymph system, try the LYMT. Now we're just gonna hit the top three of my uh, vibropathics that I like. And I use the crypto fungus when um, a lot of times with working with a person with candida. And often because their short-term memory is uh, fading. Now having said that, I took 15 bottles of this in a row back in the day that I was <clears throat> partying too much as a young person and um, not putting the alcohol down. Uh, so it took me a lot longer to clear it to balance my candida. I could have done it a lot faster if I would have paid more attention to my diet, but I did. I had gotten so bad with my memory, I couldn't remember where I put my keys if I put them down. I couldn't remember people's names, etc. Now that I'm saying that I'm realizing, hmm, I think I need to take another bottle of that uh, now because here lately I'm like, okay, it's just time to take another crypto fungus because it affects the short term memory. And it's a fungus that kept that uh, cryptomycosis, it covers the um, fungus that covers the brain that will cover the brain and affect the short term memory. Works really well with any of the candida products. So if you're having any kind of reading comprehension issue, narcolepsy, falling asleep all the time, can't stay awake, can't remember anything, um, you might try a little bottle of crypto fungus. Here's one that my family, we still travel with this to the day. I always have it in, the, in my house, which my kids were raised on a little salmonella remedy because any kind of food poisoning, uh, they put their fingers in their mouth and they ate eat something that didn't agree with them. Salmonella is a bacterial issue. And so if we have a bacterial load, then we're, um, you know, you just put a few squirts straight in the mouth and usually we'll just knock it out. I went into pretty much to depth in this in the, in the Holder Clark webinar. So I'm not gonna spend any more time in that. If you want more information about the stomach flu or the different uh, uh, salmonellas and the different remedies, the salmonella, shigella, E. coli and things like that, please visit the Holder Clark webinar. Uh, the staff homeopathic, um, they called it SPAFF now because I think you know a lot of these name changes had to do with FDA regulations. So this is for the bacteria Staphylococcus. Um, often found, uh, uh, Staph is always present when, present when we have pus. So pimples, boils, things like that. But a lot of times rashes or postpartum depression. This is odd times that Staph will uh, be in the body. Maybe not, you know, a virulent strain, maybe, you know, but maybe just enough to be holding in another condition that doesn't, the body doesn't seem to be able to be dealing well with. It may be that uh, we have a staff, you know, a staff situation going on. So <clears throat> almost always, especially with teenagers with pimples, and my daughter took 
tons of this because it worked all of her teenage years. Um, whenever she'd need it, she'd just jump back on it. The black radish and parsley with the staph remedy whenever she would ever break out. And then if it got bad enough, we would add the female balance because a lot of times it's also, <clears throat> excuse me, a, hum a hormonal issue. Let me take a sip of water. Oh, I got water, but I didn't bring it down here. <laughs> All right. All right. <clears throat> excuse me. Now we're getting into the kits, and I do see that we're, once again, we're going over time. Um, <laughs> so um, apologies up front, but you can always pause the webinar or watch it as a recording. Okay, now these, this, here we are, this is the meat and potatoes of Hannah's work, um, as far as I'm concerned, because a lot of the things we've already seen will make it into, uh, or, or some of their cousins, will make it into these kits. So. The VE kit was, uh, Hannah originally came up with this when, for when everybody was coming down with Epstein-Barr and chronic fatigue and this kind of fatigue that you just can't even get up from here and walk across the room to get your water even if you're extremely thirsty, thank you, um, because uh, it's the, a fatigue that goes to the bone. So that's what this kit's for. It's any chronic fatigue, extreme exhaustion, whether that's Epstein-Barr chronic fatigue or any, any other thing that has you um, that exhausted. Almost always, Hannah would put the vitamin product, the anti-fatigue with it, because this anti-fatigue feeds the adrenals. The adrenals being the battery of the body, you know, uh, you can't, a body that's adrenals are depressed just can't heal. So we've got to get those adrenals working. You can certainly take anti-fatigue by itself, but putting it with the VE kit, I've, I've had people come back to me who had been off work for months or even years on disability from chronic fatigue or Epstein-Barr, take a couple of rounds of this and be able to go back to life. That's a game changer. Okay, for the Candida kits, it's um, got two bottles each of the Candida number one, the Candida number two, um, and then it also has some, the vitamin supplement, or, or the supplement over here to the far right on this bottom picture, the Taurine Dophilus. So Candida one and two can be taken. You could just take a bottle each of Candida number one and two if you have Candida. But if you want a comprehensive uh, candida balancing to get that system balanced in the body, as I said before, we could have done the candida liver care if we have an addiction type issues. But when it's a systemic or system-wide candida, um, which again, you can go Google if you're not familiar with candida, just go Google and see what all the symptoms are from rage and, and uh, uh, mood swings to depression etc. Hannah, Hannah said that she thought that probably three quarters of the people in mental institutions really had a terrible case of candida. And so with, um, with uh, candida that's really a big issue, we want to do the whole kit and stay on the kit for about uh, uh, a month or two till it's in, till it's in, in balance. Now Hannah was, even though on Hannah's kit, it will say all these dietary things you shouldn't do with all the, you know, don't do this, don't do that. That really came after Hannah passed because the world believes you have to abstain from all those other things to get your candida in, 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 into balance in your body. However, that is not how Hannah taught it. And, but she did say, do the best you can not to feed the candida overgrowth. So do the best you can to stay away from the alcohol, the chocolate, the sugars, the pastas, the carbohydrates and things while you're trying to get this uh, um, into balance. So that's pretty sweet, isn't it? Again, Hannah's philosophy was make the body feel better and the desire for these things would just naturally fall away. So that certainly is uh, the case with Candida. Now up here, we just have a, a, a little, um, uh, vibropathic remedy, Cena, um, and I should have put the Candida remedy, but this 
jogs my memory too. So for children with candida, you would do just the one little fiber path of remedy, like you're seeing, but it would be called candida, okay? And you can squirt it straight in their mouth, or if it's an infant, you could put it in a little, a little uh, spoon of water, just put it in their mouth, or however you get it into their body. Sometimes you even have to rub it on their belly. Um, however you can get it in, you get it in. Um, but thrush, diaper rash, ear infections, runny nose, all of that, according to Hannah, is candida related. So that's why we always, my kids always had candida remedy uh, around for those, for those um, cases. Now, having said that, none of my children were inoculated. So we didn't have a whole bunch of, we hardly had any earaches and all those things and I, uh, that, that children get so often in childhood. And, and uh, I believe it had to do with the lack of being pump full of vaccinations and toxins from, you know, vaccinations. A whole nother webinar, we're not gonna talk about that right now. Again, do your own homework on that. But regardless, maybe it was just good genetics that they had and that's the reason they didn't get a bunch of these um, other things. However, when they did, we would use the candida vibropathic remedy. Now, on the screen, what you're also seeing is Cena. Cena is the homeopathic remedy or the vibropathic remedy for roundworms. So whereas when the, the adult, we would use the wormwood kit, we'd use Cena here. So, but this is, whenever you have in nature fungus, you have worms and parasites. So right now we're talking candida, we're talking fungus issues. We'd also be suspect that there might be a parasitic infection. Okay, so we want to eliminate that. And even if they didn't have it, it's not going to hurt them to take it. So each of my children would take a, a Cena for a couple of weeks every year, a couple of times a year. Or if they were, you know, itching their butt or, or having some other indication of a fungal type infection, or, um, then we'd just throw in uh, the Cena remedy just to make sure that, you know, they were taken care of. Okay, so hold on, sorry, something just popped on my screen. I need to get rid of it, so just a second. Okay. I don't know how to make it go away. Oh, there you go. Sorry, everybody, hold on just a second. Um, okay. All right, so the Candida kit, uh, there it was, and then there's the, uh, all right, finish that one. The next. The Huldah Clark cleanses just finished an entire uh, webinar, so I'm just going to take 30 seconds and review. You start with the kidney cleanse, then you go with the uh, parasite cleanse, then the liver gallbladder cleanse, and then the bowel cleanse. In that order, for people who they don't want you to douse them, they don't want to buy a feedback. They don't want to go get blood tests. They don't. They just want a nice, sensible program where they can cleanse their body. I uh, highly suggest the Hold the Clark Floor cleanses in the order I just said, and um, go watch the webinar and, and you'll you'll see why you agree with me. The PA kit um, stands for, or stood for in the old days, uh, human papillomavirus. That's why this was designed, because uh, Hannah's own granddaughter uh, was told, you know, sorry, bad pap smear, not going to be able to have um, babies. And she was just recently married, and Hannah said, oh, no, we're not doing that. No, 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 that, that can't happen. And so she, um, she came up with this kit, and I've had so many people come to me with bad pap smears, and they go take uh, one or two rounds of this kit, and the pap smear comes back normal. A lot of times, if it's all the way to uh, uh, some sort of sexual organ cancer for either male or female, um, we know that the papillomavirus is usually involved in that case. Um, then we would always usually put that with um, the BE kit and do them both together, okay? And a couple rounds of that. And of course, if it's cancer, then we would also um, on the next round, be looking to address the, um, the, the parasites. 
and the heavy heavy metals. You, you don't you can't do everything at one time though, so you have to you have to be smart about it. We'll go over that in a minute. The protozoa kit. This is another one of my all time favorites. Now these are three, three vibropathic remedies in here. So no herbals. It's really good for someone who can't uh, swallow herbal combinations and uh, or pills because it's all liquid. And so any kind of, so, so first of all, protozoa is a single cell parasite. And it's very, very, very common. So uh, anytime a person's got digestive issues or cysts along the bony structures of the body or, um, oh my gosh, there's so many different issues that this is involved with. Anytime there's digestive upset or even um, lymphoma, you know, I would put the protozoa kit and the papilloma with the lymph tea and, and uh, be addressing the, these uh, protozoan issues. So I've had people with like Crohn's disease and things that they just couldn't even swallow anything. You start getting that protozoa kit in there and uh, it starts to give them a lot of relief. It has the protozoa homeopathic uh, along with Ipecac and Cuprum. Uh, vib vibrational remedies. And uh, cuprum is the scientific name for, for copper. And the body will attempt to, uh, will produce copper in an attempt to toxify itself to try to throw off a parasitic infection. So, so protozoa, so that's why these items are in this kit. But I've uh, used that protozoa kit for so many different things. And like I said, um, especially when it's any kind of like arthritic type pain or you know, knotty joints or um, uh, heel spurs or anything that's got these bumps along the, the bony structure. For some of the other webinars that you all may have seen me teach, I got involved in Hannah's work from the beginning because my niece had, four-year-old niece had cysts all over her body, tumors, tumor-like cysts all over her body, and the doctor said she was going to die. And so Hannah started, you know, addressing the candida and the inoculation residue with ten dollars of uh, uh, homeopathic remedies, vibropathic remedies. That the cyst started right away, started um, dissolving, and then what was under it was um, protozoa. So once we got to the protozoa, because you peel the layers of the body, once we got to the protozoa then the cyst uh, dissolved and the tumors went away and that was over 30 years ago. And my beautiful niece, uh, Christy, is living in New York, beautiful young woman and healthy. Okay, the Wormwood Kit. Uh, the Wormwood Kit, I went into detail in the Hulda Clark for cleanses webinar, but um, for again, we would use the full kit for the full parasite cleanse for an adult. And it has five different items in it, uh, two each of the wormwood combination, two of the freshly ground cloves, and then a bottle of the uh, taurine dofla, no, I'm sorry, the uh, black, black uh, walnut hull tincture. And uh, wonderful for pathogen cl uh, cleansing even if it's not parasites, even if it's uh, bacterial, but it's, it's, it was created for, for parasites. In children, as I said a little bit earlier, would use the Cena um, if they checked out for needing the Wormwood Kit and they can't swallow or don't need that much, would use the product Cena. <clears throat> X40 Kit is another one of these absolutely incredible kits. It was, Hannah came up with this during the AIDS um, hysteria when nobody knew where it was coming from or even if we knew where it was coming from or how that virus was manufactured in the lab etc and now there was it was a funky retrovirus with a fat coating that uh, could read its genetic uh, material backwards and so it kept mutating and there was no answer for it and a lot of these AIDS uh, and HIV positive uh, patients were coming to Hannah because medical, the medical science had nothing for them at the time. So <clears throat> she came up with this. It's an absolutely extraordinary 
kit. We use it now for any kind of retroviruses, which hepatitis C is a retrovirus. Uh, breast cancer has retrovirus involved. There's many different types of retroviruses. Uh, most of the viruses we're familiar with are, are not retroviruses. They would respond more to like the BE kit or the, vi the VYRN, or VR, I forget, Byron is what it used to be called in Hannah's line, but forget the abbreviation right now. But anyway, <clears throat> but this X40 kit, we use it for anything like, even with the MS, where MS has all kind of stuff happening in the spinal column, including the fact that Shigella is usually in the measles, which is, which is not a retrovirus, um, uh, or now laying dormant in the spine. And it could be measles from the measles uh, va vaccination or from having measles. Uh, but regardless, there's a lot happening with an MS uh, patient or client um, in the spinal column. This kit not only seems to help to clear the liver and helps with the viral load, but it also seems to help to clear this beautiful sacred pathway of the spinal column, okay? This pathway is uh, uh, where so many of the nerves cross here. This is for many of you all who love the Eastern tradition. Now, this is the pathway of the Kundalini energy. Uh, for those, uh, uh, the Western, uh, the love of, or, or around the world, of the descent of the Holy Spirit coming into the crown chakra and igniting the, all the energy centers of the body, it's still the same sacred pathway. And we need to keep the spine cleared. And so the X40 kit seems to really support that system. Now, having said that, a lot of times if I'm working with a person and they want me to douse them and check them out, what they're resonating with on these different products, and I, uh, you know, they, we come up needing this, they may not have a retrovirus or any other funky disease. They may just be ready for a nice spiritual transformation or jump. And we see it a lot. So if you're going to do the X40 kit, just know that you may be starting to remember things or going through things or letting things go um, that you just weren't expecting it because uh, you didn't know that it could have that effect. The cells, our cells have memories and, and uh, we know that. So as we're clearing the different areas of the body, different things happen, but certainly in the spinal column, we seem to have a lot of stories of spiritual transformations. I just wanna say that. Okay, now I just picked out a couple gadgets of, of Hannah's many gadgets. Um, my favorite being the Soma board. This Soma board right here is at least 30 years old and it's still going strong. This is a food detoxifier. And basically now they look a little bit more professional. They're green on the side and everything. I think they cost about $35. I, I really don't know prices very well anymore, but um, you just put your food or your water or anything right on the some board like this, or your plate of food, or your groceries, or you know, put this, um, like if I come home from the grocery, I'll put this on the counter, put all the groceries around it, then it's helping to neutralize uh, any of the toxins on an energy level. Obviously, this does not have the ability to, you know, suck the toxins out of the, pro of the uh, groceries or the food, but it works on an energy level. Now, what's in here? Uh, interestingly enough, the Lord's Prayer is one thing. There's a, um, a copper wire. There's some uh, herbs. There's no magnet in this one. There's just a number of things that, however Hannah came up with this, it seems to um, have such a positive effect on making things taste better, too. Sometimes people will do a taste test where you put you know, some food on it and then some that wasn't on it. And it seems when it's neutralized in the toxins that it makes the tasty, the good tasty stuff taste better or more available. Um, and another one that I picked out of her many gadgets is the water revitalizer. It looks like this. And it's just a little round disc, definitely made to restore the earth's magnetism to water. So you just put your pitcher of water or your water glass on here. But we found with the Soma board and with the water revitalizer and all of Hannah's gadgets, really you can work the body with them. So the kidneys being right here, the 
if a person has kidney distress, I just tell them, especially in the classroom situation where they just want to try out the different gadgets while I'm talking, go ahead and put this, you know, here at the kidney area and just see. And you, that person will get up, start running to the bathroom, the kidneys will start be clearing if, if they needed that. And so um, those are the two gadgets of Hannah's that I um, wanted to highlight. Uh, in the books, her number one best-selling book of all time, only $8, God Helps Those Who Help Themselves. And she goes over the seven physical and the seven spiritual causes of illness. Okay, the next one is, um, hold on, okay, help one another. Uh, this is actually a compilation of an, the anthology of all of Hannah's books really put together. This was done after Hannah passed, but it is a tremendous reference book. Now it's, it's a big one like this and we use it in our classes. And most of you all have seen this and you use it. There's, there are also like dowsing type templates that you could use to, you know, check uh, people over if you're a dowser or a kinesiologist. But then there's also lots of um, dietary things, supplements and, and uh, reading material in there. Uh, it costs about $55. It's not, it's not cheap, but it's a reference book that you'll have in your library for, you know, years to come. Um, I particularly like the little New Dimensions in Healing Yourself book because it's got a lot of the hands-on uh, work and we had created the DVD to go along with this. I just found out this week that the DVD that, uh, that I um, produced for Hannah in a TV studio in New Orleans a many years ago, back in 1996, is now out of stock completely. And their master, after thousands and thousands have been sold, apparently the master wore out and they don't have a digital copy. So if you have one of those, hold on to it. Okay, because that's Hannah teaching the hands-on work. And it's just incredible. If anybody's got an extra copy, please let me know. I can't find mine. Uh, and I've got somebody who I really need to, I know I have one. I just haven't finished unpacking all my stuff from my move. Um, I know I have probably more than one, but um, certainly if you have one or if you can find one on eBay or something, you know, grab, grab the DVD. Um, this is my book and most of you all know this, but I put this here because Hannah didn't write this book. I wrote it mostly about Hannah. So it's called Listening and Communicating with Energy. I wanted to know what was it that Hannah knew that I didn't know, what was she seeing that I couldn't see? Uh, how did she know what she knew? And other healers, but mostly Hannah, because I've chased healers around the planet all my adult life, and I'm continuing to do that. And last webinar, I gave you all someone that I thought, you know, really whose work uh, is very, very healing and deal with the brain. And that was uh, uh, Mel Robbins on uh, YouTube. You can look her up. And then that has now uh, Mel Robbins, um, M-E-L. Um, that has now led me to a man that all of you all have heard about for years. And I know I have, I just didn't pay any real attention to him. And um, that's Dr. Joe. Um, now, all of a sudden, I forgot his last name. Hold on. It's coming. <laughs> right? I got to go take some crypto focus. Um, you know, I think I was just afraid I was going to forget his name. But hold on. Luke's going to give it to me. Um, but his work on the, on the uh, brain. And yeah, Dr. Joe Dispenza. It's like, geez. I've already listened since the last webinar just last week. I've already listened to probably 100 of our hours of, it, of his work. And I'm doing his meditations and everything. And, and they're working with the neuroscience of the brain. And now I'm starting to understand so much of why Hannah's work and, and uh, uh, the hands-on healing, laying on of hands and all of this, working with this control tower, this brain right here, and this spiritual connection that we have to the crown, why this is all working. I'm 
really getting a deeper, deeper understanding. So Dr. Joe Dispenza, again, uh, if you are not familiar with him, just look him up on YouTube. So in conclusion, and this is a personal note from me, you know, um, Hannah's uh, legacy lives on and it does continue to reach the masses, the, the masses because of the power of her work, okay? And she told us and she told anybody who showed up for a class that we had a mission. And that mission was to learn to help ourselves and then to turn around and help our fellow human being. And so, you know, that's, I want to make sure you all know that, that you are actually called to a mission. You wouldn't be on this webinar. You wouldn't have gone to YouTube or listened to this program if somewhere, somehow you didn't feel called to a mission. Now, Hannah never took credit for the thousands of healings that happened in her space or in her work. She gave all credit to God. And she said, always, 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 she reminded us that all healing comes from one source and that we shouldn't take credit for it. We should pass that credit along to our maker. But that, you know, it was okay to feel really good about having helped another human being because isn't that what we're put on this earth anyway to do? So, you know, I've been teaching Hannah's work for, for 32 years now, and it's only been this year that I really truly understood her complete alignment with Jesus and with the, you know, God's work and how much she trusted and counted on his power and that of the Holy Spirit, the advocate for us in this earth plane, you know, to work through us for the good of humankind. I mean, I, I understood that on some level for years and years and decades now, but it really has been, especially in the, in the last few months, that I've profoundly gotten that on such a deep level, you know, that God wants us to be well. He wants us to have a good life, to be happy. It is not God who makes us sick. It is our misunderstanding or our falling away from the divine residence or something, you know, let's say, you know, a little child's not falling away from the divine residence. It's, it's not someone's fault when someone gets sick, but it is not our natural state. Our natural state is to be healthy and to be well. And that is what any good parent would want for their child. And we, as the children of the divine, you know, were meant to have a good and healthy life. So use this information to empower you and yours. Please do not become afraid of diseases or condition because when you become afraid, you become, you give up your power to that disease or condition. Hannah said a disease or a condition was nothing more than, you know, something from one of the seven physical or seven spiritual causes coming together like a chain, making a link you know, having links and making a chain. And now all we needed to do is to break one of the links of that chain and you've started to dismantle that disease. Maybe that link was in the emotional body where we forgave somebody. Maybe that link was a parasitic infection and we killed the parasites. Maybe it was getting a chiropractic adjustment and get your, your spine back in order. I don't know but just break the link of the chain. Do not give any power to disease and sickness. Believe in the power of life to heal itself and the beautiful, amazing human being, human life and human body that we've all been blessed with. On that note, I'm gonna say thank you for attending. Uh, please uh, subscribe actually to our YouTube channel because now we actually, as of the last couple of weeks, have a YouTube channel please subscribe so that you will know that uh, when we post a new video and uh, share the post with others to let them know if they're interested in Hannah's work or Holder's work or whatever that these webinars are posted. Thank you. Thank you all.